Get on board for Judd's Enormous Wine Show. Judd's Enormous Wine Show. Little bottles for little people. Yeah, huh? here's the thing. It's a completely untapped market out there selling wine to toddlers. The future is half bottles for micro millennials. Hmm. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Thank you so much for coming here today. I really appreciate it. We have got some really exciting, fun new projects here at Judd's Hill, and I'm so excited to share them with you. Are you ready to see some cool new stuff? Great. Let's talk about wine labels. Now, you've all seen wine labels. They have pictures of vineyards and mountains and fancy people's last names that you can't even pronounce, right? Well, we have some really totally rad, awesome new wine labels. I want to share some designs with you right now. First of all, coming to a wine label very soon, what do you think? Pinky, the wine drinking elephant. Huh? Pinky. Judd, I'm ready to reveal my next artistic masterstroke. I'm going to express, through my art, malolactic fermentation, the process through which the hard malic acid that naturally occurs in grape juice is transformed by a leuconoxduct bacteria into the softer lactic acid. It's amazing to me how much alcohol we're seeing in some of these wines these days. I just can't drink them. So can you believe also how much wood there is in these wines? The oak is just unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, he actually said that. Oh, he says all kinds of things like that. Funny thing is he actually thinks he's right. <laughs> so listen, how about if I hit the road with you to L.A.? Bling. Hmm. Well, remember the time when... Hi, I'm Dave Stoneberg from the St. Lena Star. I'm here to do that profile on Judd. <laughs> Dude, that paper is whack. I ain't down with that. Excuse me? You want a story? Check out my tracks. I can lay down a beat and a rhyme better than any old Finkelstein. Huh, I see. Okay, thanks. I guess I'll go. It also keeps the wine uh, much more food friendly. It has a, uh, a Viva Las Vegas uh, energy to it. And I'm, I'm sensing a, uh, mm, this will put hair in your chest. Uh, this wine is powerful and yet sees the day. It has a, uh, it, it says Carpeteria. The first thing that strikes me about this Cabernet is it's really, really purple. Have you noticed that? And the taste lingers. Uh, so you like you like the finish. The finish. The finish is is. It, it ends it. The fi that's what I'm finding about the finish. It's after the finish, it, it's over. And I'm just not any sommelier. I came through the mean streets of the sommelier refugee camp with all the other sommeliers. It's rough out there. 
Come Jed, here. this wine is incredible. This is the kind of wine that you would never find in a sommelier refugee camp. Um, we don't get the best wines in the in the camps. Here, let me hold these. Take this and spike me in the face as hard as you can, right? All right, ready? Okay, see you next year. <laughs> Mother f***er! Dad, you know I'm a spy show.